So I have another unit to show you guys from the company RPG Show. And this one, I wanted to give you guys something that was easy and like effortless to put on and didn't require a lot of fuss. So I picked out the Selena 001 wig. Um, it does have a silky texture. It is 13 inches. It's a natural hair color. And of course I have the cap size one, which is a circumference of 21 and a half to 22. And this is the cap construction cap B. This is a lace front unit. It's 200% in density and the lace color on this is medium brown. As know, I'll leave all the information down below and a coupon code if you are interested. So this is what Selena looks like. This is her. And like I said, she's only 13 inches, which I wanted something just very easy. I didn't have to do too much with. And then that is the hairline. You get your soft lace comb in the back a comb on the side and your adjustable straps. I did not add an elastic band in this unit today because I've told you guys, you really don't have to, at least for me, because they fit my head perfectly. Like really all I have to do is adjust the straps and I'm good to go. It also has lace in the back. So if you wanted to put it in like a low ponytail, you definitely could. And then this unit has six inches of parting space. I honestly prefer their lace front units over their full lace units. Um, just because I don't utilize the full lace and I feel like their lace fronts are a little bit thicker than their full lace unit. Okay, so this, well, let me fix it. This is what it looks like and I didn't utilize any baby hairs. I wanted to push it back because I wanted you guys to see how natural this hairline looks. Like that's one thing about RPG show, their hairlines and their lace are really, really good. Like they have really good lace to where it's just very easy to blend in. The hairline does come pre-bleached, so if you do not want to bleach the rest of the knots, you don't have to. I did not bleach my knots on this unit. So I have been getting requests to kind of show it as is so people can see what it looks like. So no bleach knots on this wig. Six inches of parting space and I just prefer six inches because you definitely can part it and play with it as much as possible. So it goes like literally, I hope you guys can see all the way back there. So you get a very good amount of parting space and this wig is very thick as you guys can see. I know it looks crazy cause I haven't done nothing to it, but I'm going to probably adhere this down and then this is the way the lace fits on me hold on so i probably have to cut just a little bit off if i want it to fit exactly by my ear like just a little bit so i'm not sure what i want to do with this but i like it it's a lot of hair <laughs> i can say that so I'm gonna work my magic on this and see exactly what I can do. And then of course you guys will see the end result. Guys, so first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and start and cut the lace off of this unit. And this lace is very easy to work with. Like I've stated before, their lace just kind of melts into your head and it's a very thin lace. Like it's not super, super thin, but it's thin enough to where you do have to be careful with it because you can risk tearing the lace or putting a hole in it, especially if you are dealing with red tail combs. I pretty much try to stay away from the ones with the metal ends and just use a regular one now with this unit I thought I was gonna have to cut around the ears but I really didn't have to it fit me just fine now I am just going to put a little bit of free spray only on the sides because this unit fits me so good I didn't want to have to add an elastic band in because it would cause me to have a headache um the next thing you see me put down was a little bit of the yellow got to be glue and I only put it on the sides because of course I want that to lay down and I don't wanna to have to worry about it moving around. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure I melt everything in and then I'll go off the camera and put on a scarf just to kind of let it sit. Kept this on longer than usual. I went ahead and ate cause I was hungry and I got gumbo on my shirt. So I went ahead and switched clothes so that I could go ahead and finish off this video. Now, as you guys can see, everything melted in and blended in all good. Um, I did put the gel a little bit on my hair, 
but it's just gel it's easy to wash off and usually when I wash my face and everything I kind of wash around the area so I don't have any nasty residue so as you guys can see the lace on this just looks so good I didn't add any adhesives at the top of the unit because I didn't feel the need to now I'm just going to go in and use some foam wrap and I'm just going to try to play around and do different styles with this unit because you do get six inches of parting space and the hairline is very natural you have a lot of options when doing this um, you can put it all up at the top or you can kind of do like a half up half down look I wanted to go for like messy looks today something that was just easy to do and doesn't require too much um, the foam wrap is nice to use because because it helps set it helps set everything um, and it doesn't cause it to be super sticky so a little bit of water and some foam wrap will take your styling a long way I'm just going to take that foam wrap and kind of put some on the top of the hairline and then around the sides and I'm just going to take the comb and kind of swoop everything over um this time around I chose not to really use any type of baby hairs I will be doing kind of like three styles and I don't think I use any baby hairs I just wanted it to look very natural because the unit is so natural I want you guys to see how good the hairline looks now for extra security you can go back once you feel what style you want to use for the entire day you can set this down just using the foam wrap and it will stay so you could always just put a scarf on it and just let everything dry however i didn't because i was doing different styles but that will also help your style kind of lay down and look more natural and not give it like a wet look now i'm just going in with my ruby kisses 3d creator palette in the color light medium and i'm just going to put a little bit of powder around the hairline and as you guys see i'm cutting off a little bit more lace any extra lace that i see that is not laying down i'm just wanting to cut it off because you want this to look really nice and natural in your selfies also so that is what the front of the hairline looks like and then this is the back of the unit in the half up half down style and you get 200 percent density in hair that's what they state it is this is a lot of hair i will tell you guys that and because it is shorter it's going to appear to be more fuller and thicker guys so on to the next style now i'm just going to take this out of the ponytail and as you guys can see just with me flipping it over it still looks really good so i wanted to do a flip over style next um i did utilize a little bit of parting space but not too much and now i'm just taking the foam wrap once again and i'm just going to mold this into the way i want it to be um i know a lot of you guys are probably like dang you're using a lot of foam wrap but it's foam wrap so it's not going to be super heavy on the head and like I said, it's not very sticky, so I prefer to use this one because I feel like it's lightweight. But you can also use whatever you have. Um, I prefer foam wrap over mousse, um, depending on the styles I like to do. And with this one, because this is wavy hair, I just wanted to use this. And you can also find this at your beauty supply store. And of course, I will leave a link down below if I can find it on Amazon for you guys. So this style was pretty easy to do. Um, because the hairline was already pretty much set from me doing the half up half down look um, I just like the way that the right part looks if you are a left side person you can always toss this over to the left side because of all of the parting space but for this one I'm not going to wet the rest of the hair I just wanted to focus on the very front and kind of make sure it all look good now I'll just be taking my edge brush and kind of brushing over to the side and I'll be putting a little foam wrap over there and then I'll just kind of brush everything in just to make it look really good now I will be putting a little bit of my sleek and shine serum into the hair because I have tousled and messed with this hair a lot it is starting to become frizzy so yeah now I'm going to put some more of the ruby kisses powder into the parting space and it's just going to all set in because I want this to look natural on that side also but this is how it looks and there is the hairline once again and this is like an angle on it which is really nice um it's kind of longer on the side and then shorter in the back but you definitely get a lot of volume towards the front which some people might like
All right, so on to the last style. I'm just going to comb everything back and prepare for a middle part. So if you guys see me dancing around, it's because I always have music playing in the room when I am filming videos. This unit, like I said before, I did not bleach the knots on this unit. I wanted to leave it as is just to show you guys how natural it can be. Now, you can go in and bleach the knots. You guys have seen me do it plenty of times before on the other units I have received from them. But for the most part, you don't have to because they already kind of pre-bleached the hairline. You can see the knots just a little bit, but powder will always fix it up. Bleaching is one of those things where if you don't want to have to continually worry about worrying about adding powder all the time and you just kind of want to get up and go, you can easily do that. Um, some units you will always have to add a little bit of powder to blend it in. But for the most part with theirs, it just blends in really well with my skin. So as you guys see, I took my water bottle and I just sprayed it at the top to help lay that down. And I'm just going to take it and run it through the hair to create the wet look that I want. Just because like I said, I want to give you guys different options. I did the half up, half down. I did the side part and I wanted to do a middle part because I know if I only post one style then I will get questions about well what will it look like in the middle or a side so I just opted to kind of do like a fun tutorial for you guys so as you guys see I'm just going back into my powder and I'm going into the hairline and also into the parting space and then I will get up close just to show you guys what it looks like As far as shedding and tangling goes with this unit, I didn't receive a lot of shedding and I barely got any tangles with this hair. Um, this hair was very soft and very thick. One thing I liked about this hair also was the color of the hair. It wasn't dark, like it was like a true natural color and it had hints of brown in it. Con about this unit is the smell that was on the hair. So like I said, I'm hoping that eventually it will go away with time. Um, this will probably have to be my favorite unit from the company so far, along with the brown ombre unit that I review for them because of the yakky texture. But you guys let me know what you think about these styles and tell me which one was your favorite. Again, I will leave all the details down below and I also have a coupon code for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification button, share and like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.